Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're looking at episode two of Mobile Suit Abridged Gundam Wing. This is by Project Meteor, and it's called Noins Loins. I remember from the original that she had a thing for Zex, and it sorta kinda came true at the end. I'm not really sure what actually happened. It was weird. But I also remember that I just enjoyed her character because she was just a little more and a little less crazy than everyone. They were all kind of crazy when I really think about it. All in different, really dumb ways. But it was always fun dumb, so I just kind of rolled with it. This time around, I have no idea what they're going to do. But if their penchant for puns and somewhat intentional innuendo is a thing, I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy this. So let's just jump right into it. I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say it's probably going to be a really good episode because the last one was really just... It hit the kind of humor I like. Dumb, stupid lampshading, along with puns and just random shout-outs to just different things. I enjoy this, and I'm really looking forward to the second one. So again, link below. Original episode. Make sure to hit it up, and let's get started. Not sure. Dr. Corbett. Major Sally? I'm here to check oh, yeah, on I forgot the rogue about Sally. colony kid that girl brought in yesterday. You mean Hero Yui? He's downstairs. Is anybody down there with him? Uh, no. The kid beat up two local ambulance crews and stole an Alliance sub. None of us are going in there. So what Smart. if he tries to escape? We've got him hooked up to a state-of-the-art brainwave monitor. It watches his brain activity for even the tiniest mental effort. Have you tried metal so, ones instead of unless leather? Unless he can move his body without using his brain, there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay, one, I think every guy can move parts of their body without using their brain. It's very common. <laughs> Oh, they not noticed me yet. Are they even monitoring? No brain detected. Loins, loins. Either they're very the stupid Zex or machine. he's just not thinking. <laughs> Probably both. Right. Let's try this again, boys. Remember your formations. Spread out and get into I position. I want that chair. It's important in aerial battles to avoid friendly fire and <clears throat> collisions. Privates, I said spread out, not line up and- But Instructor Noin, it was his fault. What? You bumped into me. Cut it out! You think this is a game? We yes. are training you to go to war. No one is leaving this room until you can execute a simple goddamn- uh, Lieutenant Noin, incoming call from Lieutenant Marquis. Oh, Zex is calling? Take five, everyone. They don't know how to get out, do Look, they? All I'm saying is, last time the call got kind of weird. You seriously didn't notice all the hints she dropped? I noticed everything, Otto. And the <gasps> lieutenant and I are professionals. Oh no! Imagining things. It's been quite a while, Lightning Count. Please, Noin. Just call me Zex. You're a man of many names, Lieutenant. But I suppose some are best left behind closed doors. Okay. What? <laughs> He's just what looking time? right at him. It's not like you to just call and say hello. Actually. I wanted to request permission to dock at Lake Victoria tonight. Such a gentleman. To what do I owe the pleasure of having Zex Marquise come into my fold for an evening? Colonel Trace has asked that I come and inspect your valuable combat resources. <laughs> That's a pretty flattering title. <laughs> They're just my privates. Uh, They're young, well-groomed, and always ready for action. Uh, I was talking about your suits. I think uh, there are different ones I could try. <laughs> I was thinking we could start with the new Taurus model. Well, I was thinking birthday. <laughs> I'm unfamiliar with that model. <laughs> oh my god. Oh crap. That's probably the intern again. Okay, I, I just I need to pause for a second. Everything they just said is actually pretty close to what happened in the show. It's completely accurate to what they're doing. It's completely legit description without any actual innuendo and yet the phrasing is so over the top innuendo and he's just missing it and the, the people around him Otto I think Otto's already awesome I'll be disappointed when he dies or disappears oh my god I if the rest of the show was just edited to be Zex annoying from here on out I will love this this is that was beautiful again ah you have an intern too that was just his name, sir. <laughs> yeah, we seem to have a bunch of interns coming through here. 
I wanted was some nutter butter. Anyway, I'm gonna take I'm care of that. Fast. See you tonight. I'm also thanks. wondering how they had zero gravity in there then. Eat those cookies. Huh. I kind of miss Jeff now. Uh, approaching point alpha, sir. Preparing to land. Good. Now I can see what this tall geese thing is. So we're really not going to address the sexy elephant in the room here? <laughs> oh, Otto. <laughs> There's nothing to address. Noin and I are just friends. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Oh, Let's yeah. Talk about friends all here. The good th just friends. I really have to disagree. I yeah. really don't feel like fighting today, Rashid. Maybe later? The enemy won't be there later and the men are getting restless hmm. right. we've already retreated i love twice, the they do to create different scenes. advantage well it just seemed like the battles were kind of one-sided i didn't want it to be unfair that's that's what an advantage is master catra but the longer we delay on the one hand the more either he's a battle maniac new weapons to counter that or advantage fantastic. i can't come tell. on rashid what could possibly be stronger than a gundam why is it You're holding its head? Me, this piece of junk can beat a Gundam. No, seriously, why was it holding its head? I never the noticed that. is the prototype for all modern mobile suits, sir. Before they downgraded for mass production, our scientists why believe they that this is the only available suit capable of matching the combat data we have on the Gundams. Oh, like the combat data showing me body slamming one into the ocean with a Leo from I space. I was told that your lopsided victory was deemed an extraneous variable and was therefore left out of the average. Thought so. So what exactly makes this thing so awesome if they decided not to make any more of them? Well, they had to downgrade to the modern Leo and Ares designs due to the extreme stress the tall geese puts on the pilot. Uh -huh. The large booster units on the back conscious. of the suit allow it to accelerate to up to 15 Gs almost immediately. Uh -huh. That it does kill people. an exceptional people. pilot with plenty of combat experience to handle this suit. Uh -huh. We could commission new boosters to lessen the G-forces if you'd like. No, no. Keep it. You'll get the pleasure of seeing this exceptional pilot tame the beast at its full potential. I would be honored to see you in action, sir. You're an inspiration to everyone in the specials program. Oh? He's flirting, isn't Tell he? Tell me more. Well, sir, the specials program is an elite special force, handpicked to serve as the strong arm of the United Earth Sphere Alliance's military. N no, I meant about me being an inspiration. <laughs> we serve on Alliance missions, but ultimately, we serve Trace's organization, Oz, and get to operate outside of Alliance restrictions as we choose. Yeah. He just, we're he's getting all the backstory. He just wants to get all his ego stroke. Any you know I outrank you, right? But really, our edge is all thanks to His Excellency, Colonel Trace Kushranada. But you already knew that, since you and His Excellency are best friends and invaluable leaders within his organization. Oz. God, you talk more than Otto. You're his ace pilot and third in command, and you'll eventually be the one to lead the coup d'etat of the existing Alliance military okay. power. Okay, I think this conversation about things I already know uh. has gone on long enough. You didn't hear that last part, right, Private? S sir, no, sir. Good. Now, uh, thanks for the escorts. Uh... Walker, sir. Right. I've got to make a call. Please tell me his name was, uh... We've got to kill Walker. <laughs> oh? Why is that? The guy nearly gave away the plan. Not he nearly. Of Alliance personnel. Also, he won't shut up. That's he why you actually want, isn't it? Machine. Ah, that's unfortunate. I'll have it taken care of. Lady Un. Yes, Your Excellency. Oh. Have Oswald Walker's units redirected to Korska base immediately. Sir, are you sure? As I stated in our morning briefing, Intel expects two Gundams to arrive there soon. We'd planned on staying out of the conflict to allow the Alliance to take the brunt of the attack. I know. Why did you intentionally miss your shot, sir? I didn't. What in tarnation are y'all firing at up there? I mean, originally he hit the hog, the bird, or whatever. There's only one target, and he's right there. Why are they in a blimp? I just remember how. St okay. Yeah, that's really stupid. I've been circling in space for over an hour, and all I found are people screaming that it's a Gundam. I should probably. How do they know it's a Gundam? Ammo. Didn't think this mission would take this long. <laughs> <laughs> no. Where is that commander? I'm sorry. Heavy arms is cool. Somebody, please get that Gundam away from my blimp. Allow us, Commander Bonaparte. Spish. Really? Yes, sir. Colonel Un sent us as a protective detail for Operation Popped Balloon. Operation Popped. That ain't the name of this mission. 
That's what she called it, sir. I think it's a joke referring to our method of transportation. I know what yeah, it means. it's a really stupid one. Son, every unit here is under my command. But you kids and your fancy toys get to go and do as you please. What makes you special so special? Well, sir. They actually pilot? The specials program is an elite special force. Oh, and no. Does he really do it every damn time? Got his feet, Corporal. And the best part is, he's giving it away, but he's so annoying, no one listens. Now, uh, specials are here. But why are the information covering the blimp? Shouldn't they be... <laughs> he's in the blimp. Oh my god, my target's trying to escape in the biggest, most flammable bullseye possible. Yeah. Alright, Hindenburg 2.0. <laughs> this is the easiest kill I've ever... Called it! You Throw your to... knife! <laughs> Throw your gun! Uh, Throw a mobile suit! Out of bullets, so we're attacking. But I haven't even gotten to the coup d'etat! Hold on, what? Is there a jump thruster's knife? They would take the blimp down. They're not hard. You can't get me up here. Yes, I can. Apparently, the guy can't hit anything. I'm sorry, mister. I haven't really done this before. Do you have any final words? Well, sir. The United Atmosphere Alliance gave great military powers. And Susie's control of one colony after another. In the name of justice and peace. The year is after colony 195. Did they actually just let him talk about I that? Like, like the entire intro? A lot while I'm stuck here. I can't believe you let all those Alliance troops get away. Do you have any idea how long it takes a blimp to launch and clear our line of sight? They actually they let a blimp words. escape! I had to hear him out. Oh His my god! words were the length of Hamlet. <laughs> the stranger makes a fair point. <laughs> hey, that was a trying experience for me. I didn't want my first kill to be some sort of heartless one-night stand kind of thing. Besides... <laughs> hey, I was talking! And you know this suits me of Gondanium, right? Apparently not. Please, stop this senseless fighting. What makes you think you can win? Kid, Just want to break your won. mic. What? Oh, really? Oh, no, that's terrible. I surrender. Take me, but just let my friends go, please. Yowie. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Oh, come on. Come on. Master Master Catcher, you can't be oh, no, no, he's just an idiot. Catra's so just an idiot in this one. Aw, now I just feel bad for the kid. All right, all right. I was kidding. I lost, fair and square. Take me wherever. Did he see where him? Wow. Oh, they're going full on this time. I said you're not gonna get away. Want to go to my place? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh. nice place you've got here. Oh, whatever. You always hated parties back in our academy days. I doubt putting on that mask made you any more fun. I'm plenty fun. No, uh -huh. Parties were just distractions. They didn't seem fitting for a soldier preparing for war. Distractions can be good. My students need a reminder of what they're fighting for. Nightclubs? <laughs> no. For the day that they can all go home with their friends and family and live a normal life again in peace. Except the ones that die. No. Sex! Yeah. Soldiers die, Noid. It happens. Well, my soldiers won't. They lit themselves on fire already. Okay. I'm not fond of your tone, Zex. I'm serious. You're their commanding officer here. You can't be naive to the fact that some of them will die. Every battle risks that. Battles that risk men's lives are no more than miscalculations. You're getting too attached to your students. Is that the original line? You're getting too attached to. <laughs> attached, I'll Zex. Get it. That's funny. Sorry. No, I mean, no. Char. Where were you going with that? Almost made a mistake. I don't know. I. Miscalculated. Shut up. Lieutenant Noin here. Oh. It's Otto. I'm not here. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lieutenant Zex. We received the tall geese from Walker's men, but it's gonna take some time to... Wait, where are you, sir? Nightclub. Huh. All right, well... well He's just rolling with it, okay. The suit is ready for testing. Hurry, then. I want that suit ready by... 
<laughs> I'm tapping you. I'm aware. I guess sure. she tapped that. Sure. <laughs> Oh, God, I repeat what I said before. I wonder how many points this will be. They're all doing the points. But knowing your bedroom only has one bed, that's the point, sex. Oh, no. If that's another intern, I swear to God I'm gonna... You! What's going on? Explosions in the dormitories! Everyone's you can see them out dying! Your window, right? What? Oh, my God. That's a lot of dead bodies. Instructor, you said we would never die. Uh, uh. All right, not another man dies, but the one stupid enough to attack my base. What's the biggest, baddest weapon we've got? Uh, we've got the experimental space laser. That'll work. Ooh. Deploy the space laser. Man, with all due respect, that's for space. I don't care. The I want distribution to make sure matters. Filthy coward suffers. Also, can't really aim at well, that's a miscalculation waiting to happen. Ma'am, we found a single enemy combatant fleeing on motorcycle. Pull him up on screen. Hey, you! Stop! You know, you could try shooting, too. He's heading for the forest. Shooting would work. Camp, maybe? <laughs> Not a chance, pal. You, you could have shot him. Took a while. Ah! Oh. <sighs> Actually managed to hit too. And you missed completely. Get him! Unlike you. I prefer to kill my enemies when they're facing me and awake. <sighs> you know, you have a pretty feminine voice for a soldier. Oh my god. It's just a kid. <laughs> oh my god, it's just a woman. What do you mean, just a woman? It's Lieutenant, you little <laughs> shit. Whoa, <laughs> they actually that bleeped that. pretty unladylike. Ladylike? Are you serious? I have you at gunpoint. Honestly, I'm more afraid of your driving than your aim. <laughs> Kid, Dick! You take your 21st century 90 cents to the dollar sexism. Back to your yeah, that's now. right. Keep talking. Girls always love to talk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dick! I swear to God. To be fair, that's pretty accurate to his character, so... I'm, I'm actually not a fan far, of his. Just that later right shit that happened in the end of the show. Oh, you, know. hey, woman. you know what the difference is between you and me? You have a Gundam? Gundams are OPBS. Hmm, is that a space laser? No. Uh -oh. Son of a... No, no, no. I don't care what's going on over there. Yeah, not the smartest Sorry, move. Can't be serious. I am serious. Don't call me sure. Really, they're doing airplane? Jeez. <laughs> Called it. Huh. This calculation. Guess it was just meant for space. That hell is expensive. Probably very. Um, by the way, woman. The answer to my earlier question was everything. Have fun thinking about that for the rest of your life. Just want to rub in the fact that also means she's a good character. I'm not a big fan of his. <laughs> uh, yeah, then his portrayal in Endless Watch just kind of hey, bored me. Champ. Did someone make a miscalculation? It's not very nice sex. No. Sorry, couldn't resist. Come on. I like you this okay? version of sex more. Well, I'm alive. Can't say the same for my students. That's the first time anyone's ever died under my command. I didn't know what you to lived. do. There wasn't anything you could do. Well, yeah. The space laser was a bad idea. Yeah. But you didn't have the field experience to be ready for a Gundam attack. To be they fair, no one does. talent caging Can't you up in a school like this. Join my team, Lieutenant. We're going Gundam hunting. Oh, Zex. When do we start? He's still there. Either they forgot about me, or this is one gruel interrogation tactic. <laughs> they At forgot. Least it can't really get any worse. Uh, it just got hey worse. Hey there, mystery kid. <laughs> I'm sure with all that secret agent training, you could probably read my lips. So let me tell you how this is gonna go. First, 
<laughs> he has no idea. Go, and you're not listening to me anymore. Fine, we'll do it your way. Explosions? Explosions. We're breaking you out, buddy. <gasps> oh. On the next mobile suit abridged Gundam Wing, Major Sally checks on her patient, but has doubts that the brain detector is working. Yeah, Still I'm not sure it's wrong. Waves. Why do you ask? Because he just jumped out the side of the building. Does kind of prove the point that the brain detector was accurate, though. Place to teach him how to play a flute. Have you guys seen Master Catra? Not nah, touching that one! Said he was off to make sweet music with the prisoner we took. That's strange. I didn't hear his violin. Yeah, they stopped after a while and they started playing some drums instead. <laughs> but Catra doesn't own any. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Episode 3 <laughs> Goodbye, my Dorlin. Oz's unfinished business. <sighs> okay, the first episode was good. But this one, Noin and Zex stole the entire show. Every scene where they were just talking to each other, I loved. It was just good. It was like she's so blatant about it, but and then she's also serious at the same time, and she's a really fun character. And I wish, I wish this is how they were actually portrayed in the canon because it was so much fun. I mean, it would be stupid, but still, that. That was amazing. Every second they were on screen, it was great. The writing was funny. It made sense. It was detailed. It still kept the canon, but it was also showing just how silly it was. Zex has, sorry, I mean, Char has a personality. And it's not just, I'm now the guy who's definitely not Char, but I'm Char. So you can't like empathize with me as if I am. Because then I'm trying to build off previous franchises of experience and longing and nostalgia, but without actually having to get it right away. Because I really can't, because I've only been on screen for a few minutes. Yeah. Mysterious mask. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every second they're on screen together. It, it's just, that was beautiful. It was beautiful every time. I just, Project Meteor, for those two alone, thank you. Everything else was great, but those two, it was a thing of beauty. So guys, if you haven't watched it or if you have already, link below. Make sure to hit up even a few times because that was really good. I, I just... I need to go watch more. See you guys in the next one. Adios. Thanks for watching, everyone. And for everyone who's supporting me on Patreon, thank you so very much. It does make it so much easier to get these videos out, along with a bunch of other new original series that I'm starting to work on. So again, to all the Patreons who are helping supporting this, thank you. And if you're interested in joining, there is a link on the screen. For everyone else, thanks for watching again. See you guys in the next one.